Canadians are justifiably proud of our immigration system. It has made our economy the envy of the world. It's how we've built strong, diverse communities. It's how we've demonstrated that differences can and must be a source of strength, not a source of weakness for communities and society. Immigration is vital to our future. And as a federal government, we have to make sure that that pride, that faith in immigration is not undermined. We've been through a hard time these past few years. COVID stopped everything. When we started to emerge from it, workers were in short supply. Things we needed weren't going to market and prices started going up. So we acted. We made sure that our businesses had workers. Our economy got moving again. And we actually experienced the fastest jobs recovery after the pandemic in the G7. Now, it is time to make the adjustments to stabilize the immigration system that we need and get it working right for Canadians for right now. Today, we're announcing that we will reduce the number of immigrants we bring in over the next three years, which will result in a pause in the population growth over the next two years. Aujourd'hui, on annonce qu'on réduira le nombre d'immigrants qu'on accueille au cours des trois prochaines années ce qui entraînera une pause dans la croissance de la population au cours des deux prochaines années. This builds on our previously announced measures to cap international student permits and reform the temporary foreign worker program, all of which we are implementing with a single aim, stabilize our population growth to give all levels of government time to catch up. Time to make the necessary investments in health care, in housing, in social services to accommodate more people in the future. Our immigration system has always been responsible and it has always been flexible. And so we are acting today. Because in the tumultuous times as we emerged from the pandemic between addressing labor needs and maintaining population growth, we didn't get the balance quite right. With the plan we're announcing today, along with previously announced measures, we're making our immigration system work better. Les mesures qu'on a déjà mises en place font effet. Et ce nouveau plan d'immigration va faire une différence significative. We need others to step up and do their part too. Far too many corporations have chosen to abuse our temporary measures Employing, exploiting foreign workers while refusing to, to hire Canadians for a fair wage. All while, under the watch of provinces, some colleges and universities are bringing in more international students than communities can accommodate, treating them as an expendable means to line their own pockets. That's unacceptable, and it needs to change. Businesses should no longer rely on cheap foreign labor, my message to them is that there is no better time to hire and invest in Canadian workers. Our international student cap is dealing with exploitative colleges and universities, but all institutions need to take it upon themselves to be more responsible. And every step of the way, we need provinces and territories to work closely with us, too. Toutes les provinces et territoires vont devoir faire leur part et ça inclut, bien sûr, le Québec. Les mesures annoncées aujourd'hui vont continuer à réduire l'immigration temporaire au Québec. Mais comme vous le savez, le gouvernement du Québec a ses propres cibles d'immigration permanente et sélectionne la majorité de ces immigrants temporaires. Ils ont donc la responsabilité d'agir dans ce qu'ils contrôlent pour contribuer à nos objectifs communs de réduire l'immigration temporaire et protéger le français. D'ailleurs, avec le plan annoncé aujourd'hui, on contribue aussi à la vitalité du français à travers le Canada en augmentant nos cibles d'immigration francophone hors Québec. Immigration is essential for Canada's future, but it must be controlled and it must be sustainable. With today's annual immigration plan, that is precisely what we're doing. 